It's every mother's worst nightmare. More than a week after a hit and run in Liverpool, a young man is still in the hospital with some serious brain trauma. 18-year-old Anthony Burkhardt was riding his bike along Oswego Road when a driver swerved into the shoulder and hit the teen before leaving the scene. Police say Rachel Brown of Baldwinsville was using her cell phone behind the wheel when she hit Burkhardt. Brown's sister Michelle and her sister's boyfriend, Benjamin Durant, were also charged after the incident. Plus, the driver's boyfriend, 35-year-old Robert Ballard is accused of obstructing the investigation. There's no mugshot for him. He was issued an appearance ticket for next month. CBS 5's Kelly Cowan is with the live eye at Sharky's in Liverpool with new information tonight. Kelly. Well, Dora, Liverpool High School student Anthony Burkhart has been in a coma ever since that hit and run accident that you were just explaining. And he isn't fighting alone, though, for his life with him at the hospital every day, mom and dad. Now, earlier tonight, mom Sharon called me to give me an update on how her and her entire family have been dealing with this incident ever since. It was um, a feeling I've never felt before in my life. It's been 10 days since Anthony Burkhart was struck while riding his bike and left in critical condition on the side of Oswego Road. And for Mother Sharon, the pain is still as fresh as the morning she discovered the reason why her son never came home one night. I'm trembling at the moment, even just thinking about it. I mean, it's just, it, it, I've got awful feeling. I mean, and it doesn't go away. Burkhard remains in a medically induced coma as he tries to heal from traumatic and what doctors have called permanent brain injuries. It's very, very difficult to watch your, side, your child from the side and I'm, I'm helpless. I'm also a nurse and I can't help my baby. His parents have taken a leave of absence from their jobs to be able to stay with Anthony day and night and it's taking a toll on Anthony's younger siblings as well. My little one. Um, my seven-year-old is heartbroken, heartbroken. She does not understand whatsoever why he can't come home. Friends and teachers at Liverpool High School are helping out. A GoFundMe page has been set up and several fundraisers will take place later this week. I am very thankful. I get a million prayers sent and I feel that um, with so many prayers being prayed from every which direction, they have to be answered at some point. All we can do is pray. That's all we have right now is time and prayer. And Dora, one of those fundraisers will take place right here at Sharky's in Liverpool this Saturday from noon until 4. There are also several ways to help the family out. If you'd like to get involved, we have all of the information up on our website. For now, reporting from Liverpool, I'm Kelly Cowan. Dora. Thank you, Kelly.